Osseo. Osseo. Okay, last weekend, actually May 19th, it was the royal wedding. You know, everybody knows about it, everybody looked at it, it was really, really good because for, at least for one thing, all the world was focused on something that was positive and good instead of all the other stuff that gets too much attention. But that was a really good thing. And I you know, really transformed that in terms of um, we have a new royal bride. Mythically, she's the Queen of Sheba. You know the Queen of Sheba? I had a long personal history with the Queen of Sheba. I think she was from Ethiopia, actually. There. Um, me and my grandmother had a little black dollar. We called her that. So. <laughs> uh, but to, to uh, sort of carry through with the age or world change, which also happened, you know, last Sunday, May 20th, um, was the return of Quetzalcoatl here in ancient Mexico. And I think all of this is all having a, a kind of something revolving, coming around there. So, very excited with the new royal bride and what all of that is, what, what that brings into play. Um, some things seem to have become so separate and so set in terms of whether politics or race or any of those things. And we need to mix them back up the way they used to be. You know, that's kind of what I'm going by. Uh, the piece I'm going to read is like from 3,000 years ago. I'll, I'll tell you what it is. But this is my painting to go with it. This is, you know, a portrait, actually. I mean, it, I painted as a portrait to accompany this Egyptian place. It's called For a Portrait of the Queen in Luxor Temple. And because of it, it's so old, for my display down here, if the camera focuses, it's a very small figure. This is from Egypt. It's, it's a car figure of Isis. It must be at least 3,000 years old. Even though it's very small, it's very fragile, very, very fine carving and detail in it. And the, the headdress is made out of bronze so old it's patina. So it's very, very interesting. And I think that something that old and must be from an ancient tomb must have some resonance or some presence here. So, along with Isis and my portrait to accompany this, uh, actually, let me read the, the introduction to this. Uh, this poem is actually a love song, and it was carved into the wall of the temple at Luxor around the middle of 13th century BC and com commemorates Nefertari, great royal wife of King Ramses the second pharaoh who ruled Egypt for most of that century. There is a charming contrast between the public situation of the poem and its loving description of the queen. Now there, there are the portraits and even you know, kind of a, a heads, whatever you call sculpted heads, of her that remain. And she looks like a Nubian. Nubian are the uh, very dark people uh, to the south the very southern part of India. It looks like she has an afro. She's very, very beautiful, and I'm really choosing this to accompany the, the, uh, our new royal bride, Megan. This was a princess of the line royal, lady most praiseworthy, and a woman of charm, sweet for love, yet mistress ruling two countries, the twin lands of Sedge and Papyri. See her, her hands here shaking the, the sistra to bring pleasure to God, her father Amun. How lovely she moves, her hair bound in fillets. Songstress with perfect features, a beauty in double plumed headdress, and first among harem women to horse the lord of the palace. Pleasure there is in her lips' motions, all that she says. It is done for her gladly. Her heart is all kindness, her words gentle to those upon earth. One lives just to hear her voice. On this wall, by this door, she stands singing, great royal wife of the sovereign, concert to power and majesty. She is queen of the realm, 
Nefertari. <laughs> Thank you very much. I very much like that piece.